Many of the Winston Cup drivers who competed at Daytona Friday traveled to Road Atlanta Sunday for a Grand National race on a road course, the first ever for that division. <laughs> but at least the Winston Cup drivers like Terry Labonte have experience on road courses. Terry was pole sitter. And Patty Moise surprised some by being third quickest qualifier. Daryl Waltrip and Dale Earnhardt started behind her. Labonte jumped to the lead when Green was waved, but spectators would only see Patty's number 47 make one lap. Engine failure caused a last place finish. There were six lead changes among five drivers, but Darrell Waltrip took the lead for the final time on lap 42 and led until the checkered on lap 74. Labonte was second about nine and a half seconds behind Darrell. Earnhardt followed in third. Number 90 Haskell Willingham moved from ninth starting spot to fourth at the finish. Brett Bodine may have finished higher had it not been for this incident late with Davey Allison. And Larry Pollard spun on the last lap headed for the checkered. Temperatures were in the 90s during the race, but not really a factor. It wasn't all that bad. I've had worse days as far as heat was concerned, but uh, with Terry Labonte right there behind me, I know how good a road racer he is, and I couldn't give up anything, so that kept the pressure on. When the pressure's on, it's uh, hard to set on a hot stove and, and uh, rock ice water run out. Waddell Wilson, crew chief for the Harry Rainier owned Winston Cup team, has been released from his contract. He's been mentioned as Daryl Waltrip's crew chief for next year in a Rick Hendrick owned car. Junior Johnson still considering replacements for Waltrip. Rusty Wallace, Tim Richmond, and Jeff Bodine have been mentioned. 